Hello and welcome back to Brick TV. In part 4 of the Simple Action Script 3 Gallery tutorial, I'll show you how to incorporate multiple galleries into your website, and then I'll show you how to create a gallery that doesn't have any thumbnails. As you can see in the example, which I've included in the Multiple Galleries folder now bundled with the source files, I can go to Gallery 1, it loads up the first gallery which has the first three thumbnails and I can go to gallery 2 and I used the last three thumbnails from our other example and I'm still loading the videos and loading everything else everything works fine I can go home and here we go let's look at how I did this the first part I'm gonna go over very quickly you'll notice this looks kind of like our midterm I've got home gallery 1 and gallery 2 let me open up my properties panel so that you can see the instance names of things and it will appear one of these days and you can see I've named my home button home my gallery 1 button gallery 1 my gallery 2 button gallery 2 and if I look in my actions for this frame um, I did like I did in one of the advanced midterm tutorials where I gave the buttons the same name as the frame. Here are the names of the buttons. I added an event listener and I called go to frame. Go to frame receives the event which includes what was clicked and it says the evt.target.name. It finds the name of the button and then says tell this timeline to go to and stop there. If you want to create a separate function for each button that's fine. We've covered how to do that. But this is sort of a shortcut to wire up buttons by giving them the same name as the names of the frames. Now what I've done to get my galleries to work without tossing an error is in each frame I've simply put a UI loader component and you can see they're here in gallery 1 and gallery 2 and then I've actually created a separate flash file for gallery 1 and a separate flash file for gallery 2 and you can see them here gallery 1 SWF and gallery 2 dot SWF I've simply exported them separately one of the things I will show you is if, is if you have a gallery that doesn't have any video like this one has only three images in it you'll notice that I've dumped the FLV playback component if I go to the actions layer here you can see that the only difference aside from the fact that I've just listed let me make this where you can see. You can see where I've listed my images, number one, zero, one, and two at the bottom. But what I did is under FLV playback component, I set that to null, which allows me to delete it. So if you need a, vid a gallery that doesn't have any video and you don't want that um, unused FLV playback component sitting there on the stage, you can do that. So what I did is I simply created these, exported them as separate flash files. Now let's go back and see how these UI loaders are set up. This is, let's go to the gallery one frame, content layer, select the UI loader, and go to the component inspector. If you can't find the component inspector already there, you can go to window, component inspector, there it is and you'll notice what I've done is I have set the source to gallery 1.swf and I've set scale content to be false there are other ways to do this that are more efficient but I wanted it to be real simple for anybody to do this without writing any code so we're using the UI loader component to load the external content um, setting it to the name of the gallery file that I want to load and by setting scale content to false I prevent the entire from gallery from being fit into this little tiny area um, I can also locate that gallery anywhere on the page by simply moving this UI loader component around so let's see it again wait a small eternity for this to export here's my buttons here's my home frame when I go to the gallery one frame it the UI loader then loads that gallery in exactly where I had it on this on the stage and the same thing here let's go back and look over one thing what I'd like to do is I want to take my gallery one just as an example and I'm going to eliminate thumbnails altogether I'm just gonna grab them 
and dump them. Some people might want to do a gallery that has only error arrows in it and not thumbnails at all. The only difference I would need to make here is in the script where it says path to thumbnails. I'm going to make this null. I'm going to export this. And here it is with only arrows. It's that simple. So now we have the ability to do multiple galleries and we have the ability to do galleries that use the arrows but not the thumbnails. I hope this helps you all with your flash projects. Thanks for tuning in.